हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज सुदीप यादव फ्रॉम स्पेक्ट्रम केमिस्ट्री एंड स्टूडेंट्स इफ योर फर्स्ट टाइम विजिटिंग टू माय चैनल सो प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माय चैनल एंड प्रेस द बेल आइकन टू गेट अ बेस्ट एक्सप्लेनेशन ऑफ एनसीईआरटी बुक क्लास सेवेंथ सब्जेक्ट साइंस एंड स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज इलेक्ट्रिक करंट एंड इट्स इफेक्ट्स एंड टुडे दिस इज द फर्स्ट पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर सो लेट्स start students what is the important component and the content in this chapter let's see students so the first topic which we are going to discuss that is electronic components and their symbols so students an electronic component can be an element of an electric circuit means any one unit of the electric circuit may be a electronic component that helps in its functioning okay so the electric circuit allows the electricity to flow through it and is used to provide electricity for various purposes such as running electric motors providing electricity to a bulb or a fan generating heat so this was the electric circuit now next a battery battery is also a very important component okay so a battery is defined as a combination of two or more cells in a battery the negative terminal of one cell is connected to the positive terminal of the next cell and so on so this is the battery batteries are used in several devices such as toys remote controls torches and the transistors so you can see here students these are the batteries a battery of two cells that was the first figure that is the a figure and in the b figure you can see a battery of four cells so the number of the cells when combined together okay so it will behave as a battery so this is the, this is the battery and in the another figure in the right hand side you can see that that is the connecting two cells together to make a battery so this is the way through which you can form a battery by the help of the number of cells okay now come to the next topic that is drawing an electric circuit diagram how we can draw a electric circuit diagram on the paper because it is impossible to draw all the components as as it is because it will uh, it will be uh, it will be a time taking process okay so we are using a specific symbol to denote a specific component of the circuit so let's see students how we can draw it okay so drawing an electric circuit diagram how we can draw it an electric circuit can be drawn on a paper with the help of the symbols that are used for representing the electronic components such a representation of an electric circuit using its symbol is called an electric circuit diagram okay so this is the electric circuit diagram the electric circuit diagram consists of a key that acts as a switch for the circuit the key can be replaced the key can be sorry placed anywhere in the circuit okay so here is a two kinds of the circuit circuits one is a open circuit and second one is a closed circuit when the key switched off or opened the circuit is said to be an open circuit as it is incomplete so this is not a complete circuit okay so the flow of the current will not continuous so this is the open circuit and if we talk about the closed circuit when the key is switched on or closed 
the circuit is said to be a closed circuit as it is complete means if this switch is on so means this is a complete circuit and you can say this is the closed circuit but if the switch is a off so you can say this is the open circuit okay and the electric circuit shown here consists of a bulb you can see in these figures there is a bulb the bulb has a wire present inside it is called the filament okay when the electric current passes through the filament it closed the filament breaks when the bulb gets fused okay so if the bulb is fused so the filament will be break okay so you can see here students there is a left hand side and the right hand side there is a two figures given in the first figure you can see the switch is on so means this is the closed circuit okay and in the right hand side this is the symbolization this is a symbolic representation of the circuit so if the safety pin will open or the wires will be loose okay so at the time the circuit will not complete okay so this is the open circuit okay so this is the circuit representation okay now come to the next topic that is very important that is heating effect of electric current so what is the heating effect of electric current production of heat is an electric device due to flow of electric current is called the heating effect of electric current we have seen an electric heater used for cooking an electric bulb or room heater so when these appliances are switched on after connecting to the electric supply then their elements become red hot and release the heat this happens due to the heating effect of electric current okay so the degree of the degree to which a material possesses the opposes the passage of electric current through itself is known as the its resistance actually when an electric current passes through a high resistance wire the electronic energy gets converted into heat energy so means high resistance the high heating effect will shown by that element okay so heat energy and this heat energy heats up the wire also okay so this is the heating effect is due to the resistance of the flow of the electric current okay so come to the next topic beta what happens when the filament of a bulb breaks what will be the condition when the bulb will not glow so when the filament of a bulb breaks the circuit of the bulb becomes incomplete as the bulb does not glow as it does not receive any electricity so this is the reason behind it if the bulb will not glow so the filament will break okay so that's the reason okay so i hope students you must have enjoyed this video so thank you